guys. Their season ends with 20 wins, 10 losses, and one tie. Big Ten regular season championship, one trophy in the books this year, but Wisconsin hoping to celebrate in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Frozen Four. Not going to get that chance. It was a goal of our team from the beginning to, uh, to make back to the NCAA tournament to get Wisconsin hockey back on the map. You know, it's a special group of guys to be able to do what we did in the Big Ten. So just credit to all the guys. They're my brothers. I love them. And it's just ended too soon. I'm happy the way that we turned it around this year. And um, we did a lot of good things. I'm proud of all the guys in the room. And um, it's obviously nowhere near where we wanted to finish. But, um, you know, we created a lot of memories together. And it was one of the closest teams, probably the closest team I've ever been on, you know, in my hockey career. So. Um, I love every one of these guys, and we were all so close, and you know we always will be. But um, it's just again, it's just not how we wanted to finish. And that's a special group of kids in there. This this was not an easy year for anybody, any any college athlete or any athlete playing in any sport right now. The, with the challenges that we've had and everybody else has had, um, you come together as a group in a different way than you normally would because there's no outside. To, to deal with. You're with each other every single second of the day. The extra time that our guys were able to spend with each other, I think there was an extra amount of respect and love for one another that was gained because of the uniqueness of this year. And that's that's why you, you can see the emotion in those guys and the feelings that you have, um, you know, are, are you, know, you know, you wonder, you know, why it ended. Watch this club play all season long. It was so entertaining, so much fun to watch, and it's just uh, disappointing that it came to end right now when you're thinking, you know what, this team has the wherewithal to win it all. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough tournament to win. There's only been one team at the end of this that's going to be happy. Unfortunately, it happened for the first round for Wisconsin. You know, it was it was an unbelievable season. I mean, they're so entertaining to watch. The, again, the among the regrets other than this game is that there were no fans around in the building to watch the Badgers in person and, and create what it would have been an unbelievably exciting season. They did win the regular season Big Ten title, which is a rarity in Wisconsin history to win a conference championship. So when you look back on it, there's some good stuff here. The Badgers finally get back to the NCAA tournament. It's been a while, and hopefully uh, this builds and the, the uh, return to the NCAA tournament is an annual thing. Welcome back. It's Melnick in the afternoon on TSN 690. You know, there's a lot of hype behind him. He's this year, he took a giant step. All right, we're all pride as a Montreal Canadian. Just want to prove to myself, um, you know, how good of a player I am and, and what I've become this past year because uh, I think I took a big step in my development and uh, I'm just excited to get there and show it. Thank you for everything, Wisconsin. And as they say, once a Badger, always a Badger on Wisconsin.